I've been reading through the budget papers, and they tell a story but not the whole story. What we learned today from the Treasurer was New South Wales is in recession. He couldn't say the word, it is now confirmed as being in recession. The rest of the country is growing, we're going backwards. Unemployment is going to rise very significantly in the next 12 to 24 months. At the same time, we have an underlying deficit in this state, if you take out Kevin Rudd's money, of over $8 billion. This state is in a sea of red, and if you start to look at the forecasts that are put together with the plan to take us out, that's when you start to see the real problems. They propose that unemployment rates are going to miraculously in the next 12 months drop below the national average, despite the fact over the last, since, in fact since 2005, we have been above the national average. It also says expense growth is miraculously going to fall from an average of just over 7% to just above 2% at the year we are supposed to go back into the black. All of these indicate that the underlying position in New South Wales is much graver, is much darker than the spin you're going to hear from Labor. And as every household across this state ponders this budget, I ask them to consider this. Total liabilities, including total debt, is heading towards a hundred billion dollars in this state. Of every household, that's almost thirty-six thousand dollars that sits on top of your mortgage. It's not a pretty story. It's one that shows for New South Wales there's trouble ahead.